Hey everybody, wanted to do a update on the group build between me and Charlie Mack, uh, the, the cockpit group build, where we're both building two different versions of the 1 12th scale cockpits. I am building the F-16 and Charlie Mack is building the F-104G. So we both are building two different ones but they're both pretty much the same kit just with little details so here I got all the little base coats done as you can see a lot of switches it's crazy to think that them pilots will have to know what all them switches do but I end up gluing gluing this all together this is probably about seven pieces I think and I made sure to hide all the seams as much as possible one thing I've done in a lot of my past models is I do a lot of sanding and do the panel lines and stuff like that and then once I get done I'll notice a glue seam or I'll notice a, um, a crack in it that kind of irritates me and that's something I would like to get better on and um, so I'm applying it to this one. There's two huge seams on both sides of this. I made sure it was smooth. This seam here is actually supposed to be seen. Um, there's a big seam all the way down here. I filled up here with some some uh, styrene. I mean, there's still a little bit of one, but it's not like it was. And. Um, Just want to be more detail oriented, I guess, to say the least. But there is the actual seat. And the top here is the actual parachute part, so that it don't get nothing. But this one here, this this piece was a separate piece, and I glued that and made sure get rid of those seams on there. I have to hand paint all these. I think I'm going to try masking off the areas and then getting the flat black paint down and then hand painting all the knobs and all the little details. Because, like, somewhere up in here, there's one that's supposed to have a yellow square painted around it and some dash lines on it. That should be a blast. But, um, so that's that so far. For the helmet, it's going to have a, a blue glass shield. And in the center, that slot is where you loosen that wing nut and lower and raise your visor. I actually cut that out so that way you can see a little bit of the, the white helmet part underneath. I'm hoping that looks good when it's all done. But it turned out pretty shiny. So it's a good start because I want the helmet to look good. Uh, that's one of my favorite parts of this kit. So I had to put some decals on it and then we'll get a nice clear coat. I don't know. Probably try to buff it. The helmet, I made sure to get rid of that seam on the top. I don't see any seam. There's a couple little bumps in the paint, but I can wet sand that. But I gotta first I gotta paint around. I made sure I made that edge a little bit more. Oh jeez. I'm looking at the thing and not the thing. The part in the camera. But I made that seam stronger. Especially after trying to sand that other seam away. So I'll have to paint that. Paint the interior the same color. I gotta paint those details before I glue anything together. But, um, what I'll end up doing, this one gets cards on it. I think it gets a card decal on the side. And then a lot of other parts. Like, this is the tracks that the ejector rollers roll on. Here's a lot of hand painting I gotta do. I paint all of those buttons. 
this side here I think it's going to have to be black and then these raised up areas they're all black so I'll have to try to mask that off or hand paint it maybe even a combination of both there's a lot of detail in that in the 1 12th being a 1 12th scale it's big enough to give you a lot of details and here's another box I gotta do a lot of detail painting so right now it's gonna actually slow down I got the base on there but everything is gonna come to a screeching halt because all the detail painting that has to be done this is the top paint end up coming out really nice and smooth on that and then a clear piece of glass goes there that's where the um, I don't know what they call that screen but where the display hub actually mounts their displays at there's more buttons down there those all have to be painted there's buttons that have to be glued in there they still have to be painted and then that one that last one of the last pieces fits right into there and then this is the seat back now I looked at a lot of reference images and stuff and the seats seem like they're a lot of different colors I don't know if it's just what they're doing at the time or what but there's a lot of them that's different colors Here's the foot pedals. This actually goes in the back. I think this is what actually ejects the seat. You actually have some of the, the joystick that goes in there. This one has to get some decals and then a clear screen, a lot of detail painting. So now the fun part comes in, a lot of the detailing. I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of a wear look. But I'm not gonna try to go overboard. I really like this kit because it's completely different. But uh so I want to take my time and make it look right. I want to add just like little detail areas, maybe some silver streaks or so in it. And so that's all the parts that I got. And there's another thing I want to share with you. So this is the software I wanted to show you guys. It's called Pure Ref. It is a free software and it's really cool. You get to take pictures that you get off the internet and you can dump them in here. You can move them around and you can resize them very easily. And it's just like if you're doing any kind of project where you need to reference photos. So it's for a lot of people that do art and graphic art and stuff like that. You can take images from any kind of source and put them in here. And by doing that, you can create your own little visual or visual board or vision board. And then you always have a reference. So you can have this on your computer while you're building models and say if your next model is going to be something you want a bunch of reference photos instead of saving them to a folder you can put them in here and save them so like you can look at all the different gauges and everything like the red button and stuff like that that I'm going to have to paint and this one was a black handle with that this information is good on this kit but not always do you have that uh, luxury with the box art and stuff so here's another real one and this one has a tan seat when like this one has a black fuzzy seat like I was saying that they seem like they're quite a bit different here's a couple cool models that some somebody built and uh, they got some you know details just to kind of help 
visualize what you want to do and such. This guy, he built pretty good. I mean, look at the detail he put into this kit. So you get to put everything together into that, but it is called Pure Ref. It is free to download. It is great to use. I, I, I've used that on the last couple of them, and I really enjoy using it because it keeps them in a nice safe location and like I said you could just drag click and drag the image and it will just drop it into place and you can do that with pretty much any of them except for I guess the websites where the image is protected and there's a kind of a loop around I ain't gonna get into how to do that but you know usually there's a million different ways of doing it but I figured I'd share it with you guys I'm gonna have the link down in the comments so hopefully you guys like it and uh, until next time I'll talk to you later have a good one